say goodbye to the familiar and welcome the brand new Mustang, where risk meets reward. And welcome to Guys! Oh my god, I can't even talk right now! This is amazing! <laughs> entire Mustang series here on the games guys <laughs> and let's tone it down a little bit here great video by Phoenix Feather Star Citizen member and go check out his channel link in below we're talking about all the Mustangs the series the entire series that's why you're here how much they cost are they worth it which ones for me all these questions will be answered in this video and that's why you keep coming back to my channel for these Star Citizen videos. Thank you very much. I will continue to make them. And thank you for those of you in this community that let me get to see your hangars and your ships. I super value that. Let's get into the stats now of every ship. First, let's talk about the Alpha. Now, this is the entry level Mustang. This is your starter Mustang. It actually says that's the focus. 18 meters long, no freight units. None of the Mustangs will carry any freight. The biggest of the Mustangs as far as the ships are concerned is the interior cabins is the Beta. Okay, so let's start with the Alpha. TR2 engines, two of them. Uh, decent thrust. You know, it's a starter ship. Tons of different thrusters. This thing is a very light, nimble type of ship. And one of the things I was curious about flying the Delta, which you'll see soon, is can it take the punishment? You know, it's a smaller ship. Uh, definitely looks like the thing could break if the wind blew the wrong way. So <laughs> the power plant that comes with this Alpha is an S2. Um, you know, you can upgrade to the S3. It does uh, have the availability of two S1 slots in the C1 and, and a size one also for the C4 slot comes with it. So only one weapon with the Alpha. Now the Beta, Beta T two TR2s, get the TR1 thrusters, same, no, you know, zero, no freight. Power plant comes S2, you can upgrade to S3. Again, one weapon slot but, uh, that is equipped to that you can pick for. Size one, size one, so doesn't do the damage. You know, size two shield, can it take the damage? And one additional equipment spot. And this one's for touring and exploration. And the beta is actually a ship I went into the interior on. Got to look around, you'll get to see that. It's pretty fun. The Delta, this is the fighter ship that I flew in uh, uh, the arena commander that you'll see. Two TR2 engines, TR1s, S2, same thing, blah, 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 but comes with the weapons on the S2. Size 2 weapons, which are slightly better than the others, comes with them. Um, you also get the size 2 shields and two additional equipment spots in the Delta. Uh, we will see that ship. The Gamma is a racing ship. Uh, this is the starter kind of racing ship. And then the Omega, which is, you know fantastic and somebody in our community let that let us fly it uh, as has three tr2 engines now will this be better than the 350 that i the 350r that i flew will it fly better we're gonna find out we're gonna race it yeah stay tuned we are drawn towards the familiar it is safe reliable that it can shackle us to the ordinary when in our souls we long to strike out to become something new. We started with a simple mantra. Dare to dream. Dare to challenge the expectations of what's come before. To embrace the unique, to put everything on the line. Only when we risk everything can we discover something truly special and redefine what it means to travel the stars. to explore the farthest reaches. To race on the cutting edge. To protect what you love. Say goodbye to the familiar. And welcome the brand new Mustang. Where risk meets reward.
Oh, so nice. It's like a showroom crawling into this Rebel and York hangar looking at this Mustang Beta. Why am I looking at the Mustang Beta, do you ask? Because it is the touring exploration ship and it has the most interior space out of all of the Mustangs. So I want you guys to check out the inside of it, see what it looks like, see if you dig it. It's the only one that's got any type of living space in it. Um, I think it's pretty cool inside. The outside's really sleek. The design's really nice, but if I consolidate it, I think that one of the cool things about Star Citizen is the feel of the ships, you know? Every different manufacturer has a different feeling of the ships. If you look at the Avenger, the 300 series, you know, um, just look at all the different series of ships and look at the manufacturers and you see that there's a different feel to every ship. And there's so many variants and that's one of the things about the, the Mustang that's a little confusing is there's so many, which one do you pick? And personally, I'd say stay away from the Alpha. I would either go beta for your exploration, you know, aspect of, of gaming, or I would go with the Delta. Um, and if you're into racing, go with the Gamma. The Omega is limited, and uh, fortunately for you, you will watch the Omega later. But let's check out the inside of the beta, shall we? And it is really cool here, because in this ship, you actually will squat down to uh, open up this bottom porthole, which I think is really fantastic. Um, the Omega and the Gamma uh, do not have this feature in them as you basically have to crawl in through the cockpit and this one's really cool. You're going up the ladder here, come on. Okay, there's the cool animation. And then this screen splits in two, basically your left goes to the cockpit. Um, yeah, and here we got that, it looks really fantastic. Kind of pimp really, I like the whole look of it. Um, you crawl right in here and you'll notice um, it's a tight squeeze. But lots of visibility, good area, good view of it, uh, good range. It's like you're sitting in a glass shell. I love, I love the whole look of the the interior as far as the cockpit's concerned. You, you seriously have a very large scope. Uh, now we're getting back into the middle here. We're gonna go into the back section, and I think this is really cool because the Mustang you can upgrade to from the Aurora basically for free. And in the Mustang, you're getting a living quarters. You, you have, <laughs> I mean, come on, you got a shitter. Uh, you don't have that in the Aurora. So, I mean, like, you might as well go for the Mustang Beta uh, if you're going for the Aurora. Now that I've been able to, to look at this, it's kind of an easy fix for me. I think the Mustang would also perform better in combat, uh, but we'll check that out as we fly our Delta. Here's a sink. Here's some drawers. Really cool. Maybe you can put, like, uh, you know, some uh, silverware in there. No, you're gonna put a gun in there. You're probably gonna put a rifle in there, <laughs> if you're me. And I just like the way that these open and shut. I think it's very cool. Um, the, the microwave is awesome. And it looks like we've got also buttons on there. I don't think they're gonna do anything, but uh, at least for now, maybe they will. That kind of is weird, like space food. And there's your fire extinguisher. Uh, here's like a door over here you can open up. Looks like a locker of some sorts. Uh, you can store your dead bodies in there. You can put your beer in there, and then you can lay down when you get too much to drink. Uh, <laughs> but uh, for, for a small ship, here's some more drawers. Um, for a small ship, a surprisingly uh, big inside for the interior. I'm, I, I really like the designers of Star Citizen. To fit this much in this small ship is kind of a kind of a designing feat. Really cool, chill area. I love this. You know, little uh, lazy boy action. Get my feet up on there. Uh, the the table closes back up like a little wet bar. Get me some drinks and looking at uh, some TV, man. You know that'd be cool. Put some news up on there. Be able to look through a browser. I mean, there's some ideas. Star Citizen design team. Get that to to actually be able to hook up to some nav coordinates. Uh, it's an exploration ship make it functional as well cool don't know engine and stuff yeah what are you gonna do there not sure here's a like a cubby hole uh, for live uh, captives <laughs> but all all around very very big for this type of ship now let's go into the arena commander and really test this thing out see if it's got what we want uh, one of the first things I noticed while flying the Delta version which is the combat ship it's very nimble, uh, very maneuverable. Let's test it out here. Okay, let's see how we can hug this, hug the uh, roids as it were. Very nice. 
Yeah, very, very responsive. Much, much more responsive than most of the ships I've flown to this point. It, it, it uh, turns very fast. I like it. I like the way that it moves. Uh, the weapons. Let's see how they do. Again, very nimble. Uh, following him, and uh, the weapons. Uh, slow fire rates. I got uh, the M3As. Oh, ran into him. And my wing fell off, and my other wing fell off. Okay, so it is fragile. <laughs> As you noticed in the Cutlass video I did when uh, I ran into people, they blew up. Now, on this ship, uh, they will not be blowing up. But the Delta also has uh, pretty good agility for... Uh, you don't even really need to use your zoom. So, it's very responsive to the point where... It's a, I would say it's very accurate on your fire. So I got my Badger repeaters and I got my cannons and this one also has uh, the ability to put rocket bays on it which is really nice. So far, uh, I like it better than the Aurora. Uh, I, I, it, it is very fast. It is, uh, it's, it, it's not that it's fast, it's just more so responsive. I, I do prone to blackout, I do prone uh, to overheat a bit. But overall, a very nice maneuverable ship, and uh, I like it. I actually like it. But I don't like the fact that the weapons don't do a lot of damage, so you really gotta hit pretty hard. Though. Now, mmm, yeah, we got an Omega here, guys. Thanks to our wonderful community. Uh, this was actually sponsored by AMD. If you buy an AMD card, there's a code you can get the Omega. Because Chris loves AMD. AMD was one of his first uh, cards he used for um, his older games. So I think he's loyal to AMD. Like the wing, like the foil thing there. Kind of looks a little bit roughed up, but glossy where it needs to be. That red and black color is just real slick. Totally dig the color. Uh, here's the gamma that most everybody's going to ha uh, do. The Omega you can get on eBay, you know, get people's codes. But for most of those people that aren't going to go through the hassle of it, the Gamma is the racing ship that most people will be accustomed to. I like the, the look of the Gamma as well. It's got like a metallic feel to it. Both ships, uh, you enter through the cockpit, which is different than the other uh, uh, beta design that we had looked at earlier. Uh, again, you can see how I'm getting out of the cockpit here. A little bit different entry and exit. Uh, very slick. I love the coloring of both. And uh, let's see here. See the thrusters on the back of the Omega is very cool. I hear that it's green, uh, which is very recognizable. A little compartment there. Don't know what that's for, but cool. And let's climb up into the Omega and let's get racing because I want to see if this is better than the 350R in my opinion. So because it's agile and nimble, it might actually be better. Now top speed of this is 270 on the Omega. Uh, really, really digging the tight turns. Digging the fact that it is it feels like you're gripping the air uh, it, it, it makes sense because the Mustang actually looks like a giant wing a very ooh, Yeah, very very quick on turns and and the tractions there uh, Whereas the 350 R slid the back end uh, This is very quick to respond to the control so Tough choice for me. I can tell it doesn't have the speed though. The 350R. This top speed is 270 on this. Top speed on the 350R is 300. Uh, but you have much more uh, lean, as you saw in my 300 series video. There's much more lean to the 300 series. But I do miss the exhilaration, the rush of the 350R. I'm not feeling it here. So that's something you guys should know. I do like the Omega though for racing. But if I really, really had to make a decision. Ooh, that's a hard one. I think a 350R just for the exhilaration of, of the thrust and the acceleration. Uh, but overall, I'm still very happy with the Omega. That's a, it's a real tight uh, coin flip there. You know, it's a real tight toss-up. Um, let's look outside here. Yeah, it does kind of glow green, doesn't it? Look at that. Very cool, guys. And uh, I got a lap time of like 110, 111 on this. All right, and the pricing, which is probably the most important part, right? <laughs> Let's go over what I think of these ships. The Alpha Starter, $30? No, I'd rather get the Aurora than this one. 
Um, really. Uh, the Mustang Beta, yes. I love it. For $40, great buy. I'd go that over any Aurora any day of the week. With the Living Quarters, why not? The Gamut 55, a little expensive, but a good racing ship. The Delta, for some reason, not available. I don't know what's going on with that. If you guys know below, comment, please. And, oh, the Omega. The Omega, the Omega, the Omega was a very fun ship. I, I love it. And available on eBay. Uh, just make sure you get a reputable, reputable dealer. Thanks for watching Star Citizen. On to games, guys.